Hello, my beating friends. This is RB Jewels coming to you from um, STO Handmade Jewelry and Craft Corner. I'm doing this video on the very day that it is supposed to be uploaded, and it's still going out today. The title says, Do It Anyway. So, the fact that I'm like mentally, emotionally, and psychologically struggling right now while I'm doing this video speaks to what I mean by do it anyway. And me unknowingly, that's been my uh, motto anyway. And while I'm talking to you, I'm going to be working on this piece that I've been working on now for the last, uh, yeah, couple of years. And I mean just that for a few years. I would work on it and put it down work on it put it down so trying to <laughs> yeah get the needle so let's pull this out yes and there are other threads that are attached to it because um those are the ends of it and i actually taught how to do this spiral type um, beading design where I showed you how to make a bracelet. But as you can see, you can use it to do anything. And I chose that. So I'm nowhere near finished. Even though that this piece looks finished, I have to, you know, do a lot of cleanup work um, as I go along. So... I got my little beads right here. Uh, one of my bead soups I made a long time ago. So, but I'm not, this is not a teaching tutorial at all. So, as I mentioned, the title says to, you know, do it anyway. And it's not easy doing it anyway. And today is a perfect example that it's not easy doing it anyway and I struggle a lot on this channel because um, art jewelry has just been my struggle period you know as I've worked to build who I am and to, you know, um, let me see, to just follow the dreams that the Most High God through Christ has me to do, it has not been easy at all. Um, there have been many that have come against me and it makes it difficult to, you know, keep going when they've been doing it since the beginning. And for me, that's been since 2005 that I have just been going through one situation after the other and when you have people who truly truly just want to come against you because you're doing something that they are absolutely afraid to do they're afraid to do it and when they see that you're doing it When they see that you're doing it, that makes them look at themselves and face fears that they may not be ready to face to try something new that they, okay, here's a smaller one, that they may not be ready to try. And trust me, it's not easy because most people, a lot of people, they don't follow dreams. 
they go to school and go to work and up and down that path. You know, you go to school and go to work and there's nothing wrong with it to do a nine to five. And even if you decide that, hey, this is what I want to do to plan, you know, your next move before you step out. And sometimes even when you do that, things can come up no matter how well you plan. I promise you that. And I definitely, I planned and worked and saved. And I still wind up having to take a different path because things change and um, the fight was real it was great it was great and um, the struggle was real also and when you have people who come against you And whether it's your family, your friends, co-workers, loved ones, they come against you. They definitely come against you. And you are left out there on your own. And the blessing is that God will send people your way. It will be up for you, up to you to listen and understand that that's what's happening for you because oftentimes it's not your family who's going to support you going to be there for you and those who you think they're going to be there for you they're not they just make you think that they allow you to think that and at the end of the day, you'll be out there alone and struggling, and they will do all they can to tear you down. And this is why, you know, my struggle is great, and I have been struggling literally next year for, will be 25 years to just work on my, work on my passions. And Trust me, God has been instructing me the entire time on what to do. And I've been listening because that's the only way that I was going to make it. I was coming up against too much negativity and chaos. Way, way, way too much. And the negative people, again, it's the people who you think got your back. The gloves come off. You know, they start to show you who they really are. And it's tough because you're like, wow, I really thought they was there for me. They weren't. And they never will be until you come out on the other side. Then they'll show back up because now... You know, they'll be like, well, I knew you could do it. I knew you could do this, and I knew you could do that. And that's tough to, to deal with, especially when they show you that they, they, they don't have your back. They're not there for you. They were never really there for you. And that's where I am. And that's why I struggle so much with this channel. I struggle with making videos. Because sometimes it's just, it's just that hard. It's that difficult to have that understanding that I know I'm supposed to put my work out here. I know that I'm supposed to do something great with this. Because God didn't give it to me for, no, for nothing. 
I'm clear about that. That I'm like 100% sure of. But I struggle a lot. And everything that I do, even to this video, is being led by God. Because that's the, that's the only way I'm going to make it. And I know this. And I know I have a lot to share with you. Maybe it's not into doing tutorials. We're just sharing with you as maybe a budding artist or someone who's thinking about you know, stepping out, doing jewelry, because that's mainly what I did. It's, I can do a lot of things. And I have a lot of experience doing shows, beauty pageants, runway. I've, I have all kinds of experience. And I've been to school, uh, a lot of information, self-taught, and the thing is, the whole time, the struggle was just insurmountable the whole entire way. It's hard to think about that you have to hide what you're doing. Let's see. That should be over here. You have to hide what you're doing. Oh, I did. I had to hide what I was doing. Because I didn't have the support. And next year will be 20 years and I feel like God is telling me something. And he didn't tell me to talk about it right now. I feel like he's telling me something. Telling me what to do next. And I know that the struggle wasn't for nothing that I'm clear about. It's just hard sometimes. A lot of times. I'm not even going to lie. I mean, even as I'm talking to you right now, I'm struggling mentally. It's, it's stressful. It is, it's absolutely stressful. And sometimes you, it just seems like it's one obstacle after another. And I know I'm saying all these things, but at the end of the day, let me tell you, I still make jewelry. If not every day, every other day. I'm still working on the plans that I'm supposed to be working on. And every day is not an easy day. You know, people look at my work and they'll say how beautiful it is. And I'm grateful for it. It's a lot of education, knowledge, skill, and practice that goes into everything that I do. And I'm not even going to lie. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. And it wasn't easy. Cause it was literally, you know, people. One roadblock after the other. Even when I was trying to start a, start my business and <clears throat> and you know, to grow the business. It's hard when you don't have a lot of support. And the support I did have, which I'm grateful for, a lot of it is outside. A lot of it is from strangers. Just like I'm talking to you right now. Someone who you click the video and you see me talking. In my case, it was someone who, you know, I was blessed to meet because I was out there doing shows and things and God exposed me to good people it was few in number but it doesn't have to be a whole lot of people just a few 
And that's what it took. Just a few. And it's deep that it was my enemies who introduced me to these good people. And the thing is, is that the person who introduced me, I didn't know that they were an enemy. It wasn't until they started seeing the productivity that they started to, to see what I was working on. And they didn't like it. And even they began to sabotage. It's crazy. And when people came and went out of my life, I just kept making jewelry. Well, there was one time I almost gave up. Almost gave up. I just didn't have it. When people continue to just come against you and you feel like you are by yourself. I was new in my world and the wild thing about it is you come across everybody who knows how to make jewelry, everybody who's the professional, everybody who can do this and that and the third mixed in with some people who support you. They do. They do. And just like everything, you have to glean from every situation because they're not meant to stay there. And I learned that. It kept going and it got lonelier and lonelier. You know, because either the people they left or in, in, in my case, one person, she was sweet as gold and she passed away. I ain't even gonna lie. That broke everything in me when that happened. Huh. But you just never know how people are meant to come and go. In your life. And that person was the person who helped me to get back into designing and handcraft and art jewelry because I was going to quit. I couldn't take the sabotage any more. I couldn't take it anymore. It was way more than I could handle, I promise you. I couldn't take it anymore. I was like, <laughs> you know, to the people who were doing what they were doing, I was like, you got it, you, you win. You win. And God said, no, nah, it's not going down like that. Not like that. And he sent that beautiful person into my life. And I got started again. I've been going ever since. But it's just, you know, I guess it's a case of slow and steady wins the race. Because Lord have mercy. And I'm grateful because I'm actually where I'm supposed to be. I'm actually where I'm supposed to be. So, yeah. I am where I'm supposed to be. So. And now God is moving me through my journey. And through it all, I kept making jewelry. I guess that's the whole point of what I'm saying. I just kept making jewelry because had I stopped, despite everything that was going on, I promise you, I would not be here. <sighs> like, almost 20 years later, next year will be 20 years. And I'm going to keep going because only the, only God knows what he has in store. And it's not for me to challenge what's in store for me, but to follow the path. Whatever that's looking like. And I'm, I'm you know, I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Y'all, I have a lot of work to do on this on this necklace, so I will be nowhere near finished. <laughs> At all. 
not at all not even a little bit i've been working on this piece right here i think for three or four years because i'll start and stop and start and stop and you know but i'm close i'm closer to finishing than i was the last time i worked on this piece I added the fringe because it really, really needed fringe. It really needed fringe. And it brought it to where it is right now. And I'm like doing finishing touches on it. And um, I probably will sell it. Probably will. So we'll see what the next leg of the journey is for this piece. <clears throat> but I wanted to stop by and say, regardless of whatever's going on, if you're handcrafted, jewelry design artist, or you want to get into it, follow your passions. No, it's not easy. I ain't even gonna lie and say it is. It's a uphill battle, but when it's something that's meant for you, it's meant for you. And, and that's, that's, that's the reality. It's just meant for you. It's just meant for you. So, I pray that you will follow your journey and don't give up. I didn't give up and I'm not going to give up. I get tired. I sit down sometimes, but I don't give up. Because it's, it's a shame to be two feet from gold your hopes and your dreams, your prayers being answered and you, and you give up. And I'm not just talking to you, I'm also talking to myself. So just keep going, keep beating, keep making jewelry, keep following your dreams and don't give up. Do it anyway. Until next time, happy beating. <laughs>